Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm with Mason, and it's a new format. So that means new deck profiles. What deck is this? Um, Gear Gear. But it's the loss of consistency of the two Gear Gear gears. It hurt, but I don't think it's enough to kill the deck off entirely. Let's hop in and see what new Gear Gear looks like. Well, we run the obligatory armors, uh, arsenals, and XLs. You gotta play those, it's a core of the deck. But where I changed it up a little bit is I run two MK2 now and one Gyrgiano. You still have to keep the Gyrgiano because it causes it makes your Gigant float first turn with uh, Arsenal and Excel, which is a really good play. But I do not like drawing multiple of these. Like you become dead really fast. And like having one gear gear gear, if I draw it late game and I already did use these, it's whatever. As long as I'm not I'm not drawing multiple gear, gear dead gear gear gears anymore and I don't want to have to hold out hope for three of these and one of these for one gear 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 in my entire deck, so I just play this. That's all for the gear gear monsters. Um, I lied when I say it was gear gear. It's not pure gear gear. I played two fire hand and two ice. The deck has some problem getting around uh, bigger things and things that pr th the things are usually bigger and getting around gear gears. And um, since we lost. Uh, we lost Gear Gear Gear, and he's helped more than ever. So I think I think running the hands is really advantageous. And I don't mean MST. This is my MST basically. I side deck the other MSTs. Uh, rounding out the monsters, I play two Max Seeks. I need to get in things quick, especially nowadays since Gear, if Gear Gear go first, which they hopefully mostly most of the time have to, they have to get into their cards as quick as possible. And if if I'm playing against a, a certain deck, these are easy. These are very easy side out targets. Uh, that's not, I think it's 19 monsters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. I'm running 18 because I'm not running the, uh, the third gear gear I know. Uh, spells. I play 3 upstar goblin. You gotta get to your cards as fast as possible. I'll show this to you in a minute. Uh, I play one, the one of those I play Dark Hole, Mind Control, broke, really broken right now. Uh, Book of Moon. And I play one Soul Charge. I don't like more than one, but one really gets in there, especially when you get your uh, gear gigant warning or uh, dark black horn. You can just pay two thousand, get your two cards back, and make another gear gigant. Uh, my special card I run in here is two messenger apiece. I run this because a lot many people are main decking MST right now, and it really helps the setup because most people can't get over this without MST. So you just sit there. Getting advantage, and by the time you need you, you use this as a graveyard, you should be able to win by your trap setup and your monster uh, advantage. And nine spells. Uh, traps are in one of one warning, the gear gear gear, bottomless torrent, com compulse, nightmare, and breakthrough. I run a lot of one ofs. I want to be prepared for all the different situations. Uh, I run one breakthrough simply because moral attack's a thing, and I don't like getting, I don't like getting blown up on my turn. So they bring out moral attack with sanctum, and I'm just remove this chain and then negate and keep going on with my day. And plus, it, like I'd rather use this on next tonight than Phoenix chain, simply because I can't MST this. Uh, two of I play two Phoenix chain because I play the one three two skill, and I don't really think three Phoenix chains are needed. I play two wiretap because wiretap, and I cut down to I cut down to two because I didn't really feel like I needed three, and I needed space for other things. And I played two two black horn, and though that rounds out the main deck. Um, extra, I mean you can almost build it any way you want, but uh, I showed some different, some few things. You gotta play your obligatory three gigant. He's just he's he is the deck. There's like. People say gear, uh, gear 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 was the deck, Gear uh, Gear Gear Armor is the deck. This is the deck. Uh, it floats, gets your back card advantage really fast. It recycles your deck. That's what, that's what, the, that's what Gear Gear is really all about. Um, I played two one on one. You you just gotta get over things. You really do. Like that's a big like light swarms. This is, it's a big problem. You have to get over things, and this is like this is your out to things. I play one X tonight because X tonight. Um, I really I wasn't running this before this format, but I am now. I run black shit because 
hands are a real thing, and if they have it up and they're beating you down with it, you just summon this, send it to the graveyard, definitely get into fight. And you burn for a thousand. It's never really that bad. You can also hit one on one with this. They want you have one on one, getting, you're getting beat down by it. You summon this, they take a thousand, they lose their one on one. Or in mains like usual. Uh, I play Emerald. He's very important because if you if you get really pressured into situations, you can run out of your XLs if you. If you're having to do other things than recycle your XLs with Gear Gigant, you, you're going to need, this is basically like a fourth Gear Gigant. You, it's just your second chance in the deck. If you, reload, you reload your XLs or whatever you need at the moment, you, draw, you, get a, you get a draw off of it, and then you continue your game. This, this provides long, uh, longevity. I'll probably uh, play the Abyss Dweller. That's really nothing to say about it. Hands, everything, Mermel. Uh, Dire Wolf. Uh, sometimes people main deck things I'm not prepared for, and I don't main deck MST, so Ice Hand, Wiretap, and Diamond Dire is like, only my only outs, so I play him. He's not the, he's not really too terrible, I like him. Uh, one of the best cards in the extra deck is number 80. Really good against Light Sworn, you, you make it, like, you, like if you have a uh, Gigant, you go, you make your you flip armor, you XL, normal summon one, special summon XL, you go into Gigant, you detach XL, special summon XL, go into this. Detach two, or move two, uh, both their E-Dragons or Light Swords, whatever is more important at the moment, and then equip this to Gear Gigant. And Gear Gigant becomes, um, I want to say, yeah, 35. If he builds 35, he can jump over anything in the Light Sworn deck. It's really good. It's like an Xyz Armory Arm that's double DD Crow. Uh, I play Cowboy because it's really relevant, and you, get you, you can attack over big things, and it's really rev relevant that you burn. I play three... Uh, Three rank threes. I used to play more, but not anymore. I play the only ones I think are important. Uh, I play auto card because you need to get rid of retro and get around things a lot. Uh, I play Zen mains because sometimes you just gotta wall up. And I play acid golem because you got it's like same thing. A reason is one on one and X tonight. You just got to get over things. Right, that confused the deck profile. <laughs> what do you think of Gear Gigant like today in today's meta? They're weakened, but they're they're weakened, but they they will they can still do what they've always done. It's just not as fast. How do you feel uh, the hat matchup goes with this? I feel Gear Gigant have a superior superior part in the hat matchup simply because Multat can't blow up armor and the amount the wiretap and everything I have in here can hold off the bottomlesses and all that. Especially uh, Messenger of Peace holds off Mythic Ruler and all the other matchups. I mean, hat is a weird matchup, but it's okay. And how do you feel they'll be like relevant when like Alliance drops and new things kind of start moving in? I don't think they will go as well against it all, simply because Midrash is a real thing. Um, if somebody were to play Gear Gears, I would very much advise playing Triple Dimensional Prison at that point. But it's all up to you. All right, well, that concludes the deck profile, guys. If you like to give it a thumbs up, leave feedback on it. What do you think of Gear Gear? Thanks again for the profile.